Hey guys, I'm Nicole and we're here in Barcelona with Tony Duggan. Tony, lovely to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. So uh, you came here in 2017. How have you found the experience so far? Yeah, it's been amazing. I think in the first year and the first few weeks especially, it was really difficult. Yeah. I think I didn't really know what to let myself in for. I didn't know any of the language. I was living in a hotel. I didn't know any yeah. of the team. Um, it was quite difficult, but I feel like I found my feet quite quickly and really loving the experience so far. Yeah, what went through your head when you first found out that Barcelona were interested in signing you? It was amazing. I, I didn't even think they knew my name or it was not something I dreamt of when I was a little kid because it wasn't possible. I didn't even know Barcelona had a women's team then. Um, but when I decided to leave England, you know, they, they were very interested and I came, I had a look at the city, I had a look at the facilities and met the manager and I, I was confident that this was the right decision for me. So when you first got here, did you feel like the team really took you under their wing? Yeah, they were really, they were really good with me. I think for them it was quite difficult because it was a transition period for them as well. Mm -hmm. Typically, you know, they had all Spanish girls in the team and this was the first year that they had a lot more foreigners so they need to adjust as well. Um, but honestly, from day one, the girls have been amazing. They've really helped me out a lot, whether it's being things in my home or if I want to go to restaurants or flights or anything, they, they've been there to help. Yeah, because it must be quite a big change for you. I mean, with the language, even mm. things like food. <laughs> How are you finding Spanish language? Yeah, I've adapted as well. Um, obviously, it's difficult. I'm a scouser anyway, so mm. to speak English <laughs> is a problem. So to do Spanish is, um, is tough. But, I went to classes in the first year, but I was quite tired and didn't take too much in. But now I sit around the breakfast table and at lunchtime and get on with the girls and can have a full conversation with them. And the manager's telling me tactics in Spanish now, so that's good. Yeah, so you feel like you've settled in now? Yeah, I do. I really feel like I've found my feet. I, I thought after about six months, yeah, like I feel good now. But after coming back in the summer, I felt, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready now. And how different is the style of play and football here in Barcelona compared to back in England? Yeah, it's so different. It's the same as the men's game, to be honest. You know, Spain's known for being very tactical, mm -hmm. very technical. The training sessions are very different. Um, so there was a lot to adapt to in the early days, but I'm used to it now. It's the same. And I go back to England camp and it's easy to make the transition. And yeah, it, it's different, but I've, I've learned a lot both on and off the pitch. In what ways has the training methods been different? You know, obviously the Spanish teams, they like the rondos and mm -hmm. very tactical, very disciplined in what they do. And I hear ex-players of Barcelona men speaking about how Pep was when the strategy, I think one time one of the players scored a goal, but he was still so mad because they didn't do something else right. And oh, wow. it's literally like that. Like yeah. you have to be so focused in training, so focused in the games. And But I'm enjoying it. As I say, I've learned so much as a player. And if you want to be a coach after your career, I'd say, best place to come is Barcelona because you learn so much. Has it been physically quite demanding being here? Yeah I think more so just like fatigue as in like learning the language and a new system and everything but I think physically the game in England is a lot is a lot on a different level. Mm -hmm. I think because in Spain they play so tactically that they're, they're always with the ball and there's not so much off the ball. I think in England we're very direct and very physical very strong and so that side actually hasn't been too much of a problem. I feel super fit here, mm -hmm. whereas England and probably bottom of the pile. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just two different, um, two different types of football. Yeah. So you had never thought about playing abroad until the opportunity came about. No, it never crossed my mind. I yeah. think I'd done interviews in the past, and they always said, "Are you interested in going abroad?" A lot of people say America because the game was professional mm -hmm. before it, it was in England, and I was like, "No, no, I'm so happy in England. Like I'm a family girl." And, um, but I couldn't turn this opportunity down and I'm so glad, I'm so glad I, that I've done it and thankfully Barcelona allowed me to come. Yeah, I mean it's a beautiful city. What's your favourite thing to do here in Barcelona? <laughs> There's so many. Um, I actually really like the food, tapas is so nice. Yeah. So I'm always out when my family come over, all my boyfriends are going to different restaurants. Obviously very fortunate to have the beach. Um, a bit better than Crosby Beach in Liverpool, <laughs> so um, yeah, I like to go down the beach on, on my days off or even the mountains as well, it's really nice, it's just a lovely city, there's so much to do and I have family visiting all the time. Do you feel like you know your way around now? Yeah, yeah, I've got used to it, I think when I first come I felt like I was always going in squares because mm -hmm. all the streets are the same, yeah. the shops are the same and but I've, I've got the hang of it now and I'm driving as well so and on the other side of the road I've got used to that. Oh, that um, must be scary. I know, I feel fully Spanish now. <laughs> um, I can park in spaces this big because in Spain <laughs> that's what it's like. But um, yeah, I've got used to it. What would you like to achieve here at Barcelona? I want to win the league. That, mm. That's so important for the club. It's so important for myself. I won the English league and it was amazing and it took me many years of trying to finally win it. 
Um, unfortunately, the team haven't won in the past few years at Atletico Madrid have, so they're our big rivals. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, the, my main aim is league, but also we got a bit lucky with the draw in the Champions League this year, so that's got to be out of the focus as well, because um, if we perform well in the next two games, then we could have a route to the final. Brilliant. Well, good luck. Thank you so much, Tony. It's been a pleasure. Oh, thank you. It's nice to have you.